Thanks to Antifa and the supposed anti-fascist brigade for exposing what the radical left truly is, all of America is watching because you guys are so stupid. It's horrifying, I am grateful, and you can all go to hell, you pathetic, lying, stupid jackasses. The same goes for the mayor of the city who has suggested that Antifa occasionally be given free reign over the city and that, and that conservatives should go home because we wouldn't want to provoke violence. I do want to actually thank the administration for making the effort to put on this event tonight. There were a lot of obstacles, and I'll talk about the obstacles in a little bit, but they did attempt to make the effort and they did unshackle the police to actually protect this. So thank you to the administration for doing that. I saw a lot of headlines on the way here about how it was going to cost $600,000 in security for this event. And that is not due to me. I mean, I'm not the one out threatening to break windows. It's not due to you. You're here listening. It's due to the Antifa hard left morons who are out there breaking windows. And I do want to say one thing, which is that in a city as left as Berkeley, if you're going to blame me for the $600,000 in spending on security, you're all Keynesians. Think of all the jobs I just created. <laughs> now, this lecture is titled Say No to Campus Thuggery. That's the title of the lecture because of Antifa and the wave of violence that has engulfed this campus since earlier this year. I spoke here last year, some of you may remember. I was here last year. Okay, I spoke in like February 2016 here. Nothing, right? I mean, it was a packed house. I had two security guards. That was it. No violence, no nothing. And now we are spending well into six figures so that I can say many of the same things. Okay. It's utterly absurd. It's utterly absurd. But things have changed. Well, why have they changed? It's because there's a pathetic new movement arising all over the country, from Sacramento to Berkeley to Dallas to Charlottesville. And that movement says that speech is violence and must be treated as such. This is groups like Refuse Fascism. Don't worry, I'll get to the alt right later. This is groups like Refuse Fascism, which professes to promote protest, but has actually said it won't rule out working with groups like Antifa. Here is the poster that they put out earlier about me. Uh, I, I don't know who designs their posters, but guys, this is too many words. Bad logo, and bad, bad imagery, just poorly done. They say on this that the problem is not campus thuggery. For those of you who can't see this, it says, no, Ben Shapiro, the problem is not campus thuggery. The problem is fascist intellectual thuggery in the service of the Trump-Pence fascist regime. 